What's going on, family? Let this message find you all well and in good spirits. This video here, I'm just outside taking a walk. You know, sometimes we get so wrapped up in our own minds, our own anxiety, depression, whatever it may be, we don't make time for ourselves. We make excuses. And those excuses get worse and worse to where eventually we're just not doing anything about it. You know, I come to find out that you've got to push. you got to keep pushing yourself because nobody else is going to help you. These are things that we can all do. Whether it's together or alone, we can all get these things accomplished. You know, right now, I got my bottle of water. Like I always say in my videos, I always keep a cold bottle of water with me. Just in case I start having anxiety or panic attack. But it's a beautiful day. The sun's shining. I'm getting some vitamin D. I'm relieving stress. Keeping my mind occupied. And away from anxiety. The only way I'll create anxiety out here. Walking. Is if I just get too worked up. And I'm not going to. I know my limits. I feel like I'm getting worked up. I'll go ahead and walk on home. So... That's what I'm doing. Out here pushing through it, guys. Making myself do it. You know, we don't like to do these things. We want to do things that's, that's comfortable. We want to sit inside and eat food. Not come outside and move around. Not get no exercise in. These are all things that make us worse. These are things you want to avoid. So I come out here every day. And I move around. Walk my dog. She's right here beside me. See if I can flip the screen around. There she goes. That's my little partner in crime right there. She helps me get through all this, guys. Literally. Just get out here and do it. And that's what I'm doing. And everyone here that watches the channel can do it, too. Hopefully, you guys are already doing this. At least once a day. Walking. Put a step counter on your phone. Try to get some extra steps in. Whatever it may take. Set a goal. I set up a step counter. I try to get at least 10,000 uh, 10, steps a day. I won't do this every day. But some days I will get it. Sometimes I'll surpass it. Some days I only get 3,000 steps. It may have been a bad day. But the next day you can guarantee I'm going to get out here and try to put more steps in than the next time. So... I hope all you guys are doing the same. Don't let it beat you to death, guys. Keep your mind occupied. I can stay out here and walk most of the day and never really even notice that my anxiety is trying to overpower me. But as soon as I go back in and sit down, that anxiety is going to kick in, guys. Reality is going to kick in. My mind's not occupied. I'm sitting still. And, uh... It's going to get the best of me. That's when I'll start noticing that my heart's beating faster. I can hear it. I can feel it. Whatever the case may be. But as long as I'm moving at a steady speed. Not nothing crazy. Not nothing real fast. Just moving. Steady speed. I never really notice it as much. But if I take off running or something, I'm probably going to be in trouble right there. It's going to create more anxiety. So steady pace. Get your water, whatever it is that makes you comfortable. Turn some music on and just go take a walk. Get outside, get that beautiful sunlight, and yeah, just get it. You know today, I don't know if I said this or not, it's 30 degrees outside. Yeah, I got on a hoodie. I mean, not a hoodie, a beanie, but I mean short sleeves. I'm wearing shorts. I don't know if I said that earlier or not, but it's cold out here. But that's okay. I'm moving. My blood's flowing. I actually feel like I'm starting to sweat, so uh, it's all right. I'm not worried about the cold weather. I'm making myself do this because this is what I need to do.